tell my clients to go get Greek yogurt, right? The reason why I'm telling them that is that I want them to look I want them to look at the carbohydrates to protein. You see how this is 15 grams of carbohydrate to 10 grams of protein? What I like to tell my clients is add the protein and the fat, and it should be greater than the carbohydrate index. Well, this would fall into place, but I want you to compare this product, okay? So you're getting 15 grams of carbohydrate to 10 grams of protein. So if you were just to compare the carbs to protein, this is higher in carbs. So every time you eat this, you're telling your body, to store fat, not burn fat, okay? In comparison, you pick up this yogurt right here, this Greek yogurt right here, and you turn around and you look at the carb index, it's nine, the protein index is 23. So this one, you're gonna be telling your body to burn fat, and then the fat grams is 4.5. So this is just such a far superior product than this product. Now, here's what people then do. They then go and they will buy what's the, they think, oh, I'm on a diet, I'm gonna get the low fat, which is the worst thing you can do, which just shows you how much marketing dollars goes into people making unhealthy choices. You look at the ingredients here and you see the carbohydrate index is 26 and you see the protein is 10. So again, someone's trying to do something healthy, but they're gonna end up gaining weight on eating this product. So if you see something that says low fat, that is horrible. Your body needs fat to burn fat. So you wanna put that back on the shelf. Let's go to this Greek yogurt. And let's look and see what's in here. This has 33 grams of carbohydrate to eight grams of protein. This is an absolute not a good choice. This would not be a good choice. Again, just start looking, my little pets, don't worry about it. Anything else right now, just keep it really simple. Read your food labels. Look, what is the carbohydrate index? This is nine. What is the protein? 23. If these were two teams playing football, all, all people on the team were of equal value. The protein team would win. This is gonna be a product that's going to be going to your body good. Again, you need fat to slow down that insulin or that glycemic index in your body. So just kind of things to be aware of. It's just so sad. The other thing is I see people like, you know, drinking these drinks. Um, this is plain, so let's just look at this one. This will probably be the best one. This is 12 grams of carbohydrate to 11 grams of protein. So this insulin response to this one will actually be pretty neutral. Um, so this would be, a, and it's got 2.5 uh, grams of fat. So this is actually, this would be not a bad product to have, right? Now let's compare that to uh, this one, which is a probiotic yogurt drink. They think they're doing a good thing. And let's look at the P to C ratio on this. So this is, do you see the difference? 27 grams of carbohydrate to eight grams of protein. And what's the fat? Look at that, it's like negligible. So this, look at how they're marketing. Gluten-free, good source of protein. It's a horrible source of protein. I mean, look at that. The protein is six grams to 27 grams of carbohydrate. Your body, if you're going to eat this product, is absolutely gonna tell your insulin to have an over-insulin response, and your body, instead of burning fat, you're gonna be storing fat. So if your trainer's telling you to go and buy this, you might wanna get in the Learjet and go in the opposite direction. If your trainer is telling you to buy something like this, this is gonna be the product that you're gonna to wanna to get. Again, look at your protein ratio to carbohydrate ratio to fat grams ratio. All right, so this is a good product. Not so good. You know, just as you're going down and you're looking, uh, what amazes me is when they say, fat free, lose weight, increase protein. You wanna just look, I've heard really good things about this company, so let's just look at this really quick. Um, so you've got 18 grams of carbohydrate to 12 grams of pro, uh, protein. Let me tell you, as far as yogurts go, that's going to be a pretty good uh, combination. So again, uh, we're looking at carb is 18, protein is 12, okay? Now let's compare that to a Yoplait yogurt, okay? Um, look at this, 25 grams of carbohydrate to 6 grams of protein. So here's your response. This, your body, is going to gain weight hold on to body fat. 
this product, right? So what's the difference? No big deal, really, right? But get this product because you're going to have better results. I just get so frustrated when I'm here at the grocery store and I'm seeing all this food labeling and I see all these people all say, no fat, no fat. You don't want to do fat, guys. You need to get the fat in and you need to start reading your labels. All right, love you guys.